YouTube, welcome back to Shades Town. I'm pretty excited about this episode again. I uh, have been working in there. I don't know if you can tell, but I actually extended the length. It used to come up about right there, but the building is now that long. I've actually framed in the whole thing because I am confident about the size that I need. And you actually will get to see inside of there later. I'm doing a lot of work inside uh, getting this um, chemical plant working. But for this episode we're going to take a little break from that. I'll, I guess I get to show you some of the background stuff back here. But I've put in a few more sorters and stuff. But this is all extra. Um, my sorters and silos are all full and I'm starting to fill these chests up and I need to start to use some of this. As you can see I have a ton of sticks and so I plan to use those sticks and I mentioned earlier in a blast furnace. So this semester we are going to make the um, productive part? What's a good word? <laughs> I can't think of a good word. We're actually going to make the guts of that blast furnace. And it should turn out pretty cool. Um, so what I'm thinking, the way that you'll end up in the chemical plant is there'll be a little entrance uh, built off of that building probably and you go in this way. So I'm thinking the, the blast furnace, uh, basically Blast furnace is a way to smelt stuff to uh, eventually end up with iron. Um, so this is going to be a, a blast smelter, you could say. It's going to be a really fast smelter. Um, and then over here, so that's going to be kind of right here, parallel along that. And then over here, I'm going to have the bulk smelter. And as you can see, I have two nether portals. Um, they each link separately. So this portal, uh, as you can see, it's underground. This is going to be my lava bucket transport, and that is linked to this one right there. Now, the other portal right here. So um, down here, you no one will actually use this. I'll build this, a system where you go down to that huge lava lake, fill up buckets, throw them in the hoppers right off of the lava lake and it'll automatically pump them up and through here and pump it into that bulk smelter. Then you'll be able to come through this portal and end up up here. So basically uh, no, you'll never use this portal. This is only for lava and bucket transport um, but to go down to that also let me show you. My wife has been extremely busy doing a good job at this tunnel. So you go up that way, um, that goes to the nether portal up by our old sugarcane farm, which is, it's still running, I want to move it and update it, but right here, I don't have a bow on me, um, right here you can see there's another building over there. Uh, this area, I kind of flattened out and cleared out, it's going to be a big uh, nether hub. So our nether hub's going to be right here in this area. But anyways, let's jump back up and get started on this blast furnace. So I think for the blast furnace, I'm I'm planning to put a bunch of different smokestacks, um, as blast furnaces actually do have multiple smokestacks. Um, but I'm going to connect them all at the base with one building and the actual guts of it is going to be in that building. So I think that's what I want to build today is just the guts in the building. And I kind of want to have the base of the guts dug down a little bit. So let's dig out uh, 32 blocks roughly. Okay, and kind of look at that. Does that look long enough yeah we can do a little landscaping there or something that looks good okay so let's dig out this I'm gonna go ahead and finish digging out the area that I think I need and I will be back
Okay, we have that dug out. Now the system that I'm using is going to use all 64 furnaces and a minecart is going to drive and deposit one item into each furnace. So you'll come up to the blast furnace, uh, drop in a stack, and within a matter of seconds the entire stack will be smelted and returned to you. Now as you know, underneath each furnace, well let's let me place a couple furnaces and show you the idea. So the furnaces will be like that and you'll you will have access in here there is a chance that if someone puts something that's not smeltable these furnaces can jam so I want to uh, make them accessible uh, very easy so this is going to be both it's going to look pretty cool and be very uh, practical but um, underneath those furnaces you need hoppers to pull the items out and it looks like I'm going to need to make more hoppers but let's build that hopper line first so basically all 32 furnaces the hoppers are going to come and pull them back to this area which is where you're going to start uh, which is where you're going to put the items in anyway so every item will be returned to you this is basically how I want them but I want them to look nice obviously so I had an idea if we go like this I place some stone stairs there and then if we pit, place some stone stairs here let's do three on each side that then you kind of have a tunnel and put in some oh, cobblestone right there so I think that looks okay so let's go ahead and do that and for this here Let's bring it around like this. Yeah, that'll look good. And probably just cobble that end. Yeah. A few shy, but that's okay for now. We'll come back and finish that off. Do we like the roof there? I'm tempted, very tempted to move the roof up one. Let's check it out and see. Just so it doesn't feel quite so crowded down there. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay. So now to get back to the mechanics of it, let me clear off this dirt. but um, I'm going to place the hoppers that go up above that we need to feed the items and then the hoppers on the sides that we need to feed the fuel. Okay, got those in. Uh, next I want to run the rail and I think first I'm going to run the rail that does the wood. So I want to run the rail along those guys and to do that I need to make a crafting table over here as you can see I kind of opened up this side too so I can get a better idea of the hallway I'm gonna leave that there I thought about dropping that down one but I like that it's a half slab so we don't have to worry about lighting it and mobs still won't spawn so we'll just keep it like that but back to this hopefully this will give us enough golden rails I don't think it will but we will see yeah, I don't think 18 is going to be enough because we need a few to get it, the cart going <clears throat> and then down here we're going to need a few to pull it let's see how do I want to do this wow am I lagging I am lagging 
my wife's laptop got delayed so we're still waiting on it so we're still using the old laptop for our server uh, let me fix this lag and I will be back okay got the powered rails on I think I've got them in a good spot I uh, will have to test and see I've kinda just guessed for right now but uh, let's go ahead and add a little bit more to this um, this top one I just want to do one loop and then return so we'll have it come that way go around and come back on this and then I was thinking have it come like this over to there and then it's gonna feed in like off of right well you know what let's have it come out some more let's have it come out a couple actually there and then we'll have it feed down yeah so that way we won't get in the way of this guy um, so in that case let's break that back and we can bring that out to there and let's go one more and then let's go across like that yeah okay so that goes like this and then this one's gonna come in and yeah, we don't want it to do that come in like that and turn back okay so uh, let's actually put a powered rail here um, so this is going to be the one that you put your items in. So you're actually going to put the items directly in a minecart. And I'm thinking the minecart will be right about here. Something like that and it'll be right there. So if we put a powered rail that goes up, bring that down there. Let's see. Bring that guy there. We only need one powered rail there. And whoop, don't want to do that yet. Come there, then turn, then go up. Okay. Let's grab some cobblestones to get, see, right there and right there. Kind of clean this up, make it look nice. We'll work on that in a minute, but let's uh, let's throw a minecart. And I'm just, uh, do I want it to be a chest? Yeah, let's put a chest minecart. One, two. Okay. Now let's put that guy down here. And so you'll come in. Yeah, that looks good. I like it. So you'll come in. Let's cap that off there and do the same on this side. Looking good, okay? Yeah. Uh, let's grab a button. Do I have? I do have wood. Let's use. Let's use some jungle wood. Okay, so this isn't gonna launch it up there yet because we haven't powered everything. But throw a button. So you come in. You put your stack in, push the button, and <laughs> duh, nothing happens because I haven't powered it correctly. So, is there a way to get that to power that, but still get the look that I want like that? Because I really like that look. Let's see. Um, you know what? I probably, well, yeah, let's go off this side. There we go. And just put a. Um, we'll see how this looks. We'll just put a redstone dust right here. You will be able to see it. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't want that. You know what? We're going to change a whole lot. Well, not a whole lot, but we're going to change uh, the entrance area to that tunnel. We're going to have it open up. And this is only going to get rid of uh, one stack every time you push the button. So technically you only need to put one stack in there. Um, it is a blast furnace, but I am limiting it to one stack per button push. So uh, you'd ha you have to wait for basically almost for one stack to finish. 
before uh, finish smelting before you do the next stack. Like I said, that's only a matter of seconds though. But the reason being, it uses two sticks per item. Um, I'm gonna have to go through and check all these, but. I'm using sticks from the witch farm because we had all those sticks but it uses two of them per item and so it'll burn through a ton of sticks if people use it for bulk smelting and so I, that's kind of the way to prevent it it's just kind of an annoyance that you have to hit it every time you do one stack but oh I pushed it let's follow it so it should hopefully oh if I can get up there in time come on make its way go back up come back down and boom right there and then you can hit it again if you put more than one stack. Send it off. I want to make sure it gets some decent speed. I had a lag spike right there. But yeah, that's plenty of speed to go the whole way. Okay. Good. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, it, it's a little bit annoying to the person to have to do it multiple times. Um, so that prevents the bulk thing. And like I said, the bulk system is going to be in a building just right here, just next door. So if you have more than one uh, stack to do, or you know more than a couple stacks to do, you come over here and throw them in here. It takes it, it's going to take longer, but uh, it'll be a lot more resource friendly. Okay, so that one is working good, actually. I'm very pleased with that. So, I'll worry about this entrance later. A lot of this building, so this smelt area down here, um, you're going to see all these furnaces going. I left cobble because um, it matches the, the furnaces and stuff. But the outside of this building, I haven't decided what the actual building is going to be, but I I kind of want to wait for 1.7 so I can go find some clay, um, a clay biome, a mesa biome, and harvest a ton of clay off of it so that we can take um, and do the smokestacks with clay and I might do the building. So this is going to be put on hold until 1.7 comes out and I'm ready for it. Uh, but I, I really wanted to get it working at least. so. We will do that much. Alright, so for this part, I'm going to need to consult my creative world. I will be right back. Okay, I got part of it done. Uh, you'll see me, I'll cut back and forth and just cut out the building. I'm running out of time on this episode. And it's a little bit technical, so probably a little bit boring. But uh, what's going to happen is the fuel cart is going to come in here, go that way, fill up, uh, add sticks to all the um, hoppers on the side, so obviously add a stick of furnace fuel. Come up here, hit this, and come back and add another stick on the way back. Um, so one launch of that fuel cart is going to fill the hoppers up enough to do one furnace, uh, one item in the furnace here. Now, I'm going to have it automatically send but there's a few issues. I want to prevent any kind of bugs and any major issues with the system and to do that I want to have a backup of sticks. I don't want just two sticks in there waiting. Um, it takes too long to add both sticks so if something gets smelting the first stick will burn out before the second stick gets there. So basically I want to reserve and the best way that I figured out to do that that is most resource friendly I can't uh, just run I don't want to fill all of these hoppers up completely I mean that's just insane because you'd have a stack of sticks there and then five stacks for every hopper and I just don't have that and it's just it's not very resource smart so what I was what I want to do is have a stack of sticks inside each of those hoppers and that's it so when that hopper gets a stack, this will be the first hopper, so even if I'm only smelting one item in this blast furnace, that is the hopper that's going to be used. So, when that hopper gets full, so that will be the most used uh, furnace, excuse me, I keep saying hopper, that will be the most used furnace. So this hopper, once it receives an item in here, 
Uh, let's just use a redstone. So pretend that's a stick and it's stuck in there because that uh, furnace <laughs> is full of sticks. So that is going to come in power this, which is going to which powers that torch off, which unpowers this block, which powers that one on. So it pushes this. That doesn't work. Hmm. <laughs> We are too far this way to do it. So, how are we going to fix this? Let's go like that. The piston needs to be right there. Zombies always come in pairs. Where's it at? Thought I heard one. There it is. And there's my sword just in time. Alright, buddy, die. And don't call any buddies. Okay. Let's get back to work. Take this guy out. Um so we gotta move this. Even though that piston's out, if this is unpowered, that piston will still be out because that block is right underneath, underneath and it's powered. So we got to move that back. So let's uh, let's actually go like this. Add a cobblestone here and add one redstone right there, and that should pull it from there to there. I think will that do that? Let's find out. There, powered, unpowered. Okay. So then we'll just. Uh, do that same trick we had where we went there and then we go up to here and then that and then we'll just put a, a block right there which will power the piston okay now we're talking so <laughs> back to explaining what I want there will be a block here that will block off that rail so that rail is gonna be uh, is it gonna be there? Let's. We need to go one more now. So like this. And we'll go like that. And I'll throw a minecart on just so you can see. So the minecart's gonna be waiting right there, uh, full of enough sticks to fill up all these. Um, add two sticks to each thing. Now, when this is full, when that's full and we have at least one stick in here, we don't want to keep filling uh, because we don't want to fill up, like I said, we don't want to fill up all those hoppers. So that's what this little circuit does. It stops it from that, okay? So now the next circuit we want is a simple circuit that will make this fill up uh, at least two stacks of sticks before launching. So what's going to happen when this isn't full we need sticks. That should have retracted. Why did that not retract? Is that it? Yep, that's a problem there. So we got to move that over. Where can we move that to and still be safe? Right there. Okay. There we go. Light those guys up. But anyways, you see, the minecart goes on its way. And now it doesn't have the hopper in it, so it probably will stop and get stuck over there. But I gotta build the system here that is going to fill the minecart with at least two stacks of sticks, so it has enough to make a full loop without running out. Okay, and we're back, and I. I haven't tested it yet, uh, but I think it would it should be working. Um, I have it set to not go because we have uh, rotten flesh in here, so it thinks that that furnace is full. It should have probably like four wood in there, five wood in there, or sticks, not wood. Um, so let's go ahead and test it. I think I dumped a few sticks in here. Actually, let's keep most of those. So this chest will be. Uh, hooked up to the wood silo that's going to be probably just right here. Um, come from you know the 
leftover trail on the witch farm. But let's go ahead and throw our wood in. And our wood should be emptying. This is an old trick uh, when hoppers first came out. Hold on a sec, let me tell my wife. Um, flint, stick, and feather. Okay, so when hoppers first came out, I need to see how full this guy is. I only want two stacks in here, and as you see, there's already one stack. In fact, let me show you real, oh, well, it won't go uh, because it thinks it's full. So I can explain. I want to see how full that is, so I need a comparator to pull off of it. Well, the only way a comparator can pull off of a hopper with minecart is through, you can't see it, but it's a detector rail right there. And the issue with that is you can't feel it uh, if the minecart is right on that detector rail because the detector rail puts out a redstone signal and turns off any hoppers. So the workaround is you put the detector rail at an angle and that way it still you know can be read by that comparator but it's high enough to register on the hopper. So this hopper uh, will fill that detector rail and as you see you know it keeps filling it up which is fine. Normally it would be going um, if it didn't think this was full it would have already let that uh, go. So right now that comparator is sending out a strength to this comparator notice this one's on subtraction mode um, <clears throat> so it's subtracting the signal from this one and the signal from this one is a non-stackable item and 52 sticks uh, just worked out to where that's what we need to have more than two stacks in here so as soon as there's more than two stacks here this uh, comparator will put out a signal to this which turns off that lamp which turns off that block let me get up there which turns off this redstone there which will allow this piston to pull back so this is kind of a modified AND gate these two blocks um, right there because uh, that so that lamp that torch excuse me has to be off and that torch right there that's coming from this hopper right here and going up that torch has to be off as well for this thing to come in so once I pull this flesh out it will let that minecart go and that minecart will stock um, add sticks to each of those uh, furnaces so let's pull it out let's watch it go so it comes in that guy takes off this re-extends because now this is not sending out a strong enough signal in fact it's not sending out any signal so that comes back there, goes this way, and let's jump down. We'll see this hop up as soon as it passes over again. Okay, so let's jump back here. Oh, it sent it off again. Reason being it had five stacks and it only got rid of two, so it still had three. So after this one, um, it just got rid of two more, so now it'll have a stack left uh, when we get back here, and I'll show you that come back here if I can get to it before it fills up oh wrong one there we go so as you can see it has less than two stacks now when that fills up I'll show you real quick if I can go get a good angle there we go uh, let's do it like this okay so anytime now what it'll launch uh, that mine cart out and you'll see it See, there it goes and fills up. Okay, so that's how we do it. Now we're gonna run out of sticks real quick. Um, a workaround to that is to take, oh, a stack of sticks or something. How many do we have in here, 10? I want more than that. I want like at least a half a stack. So we'll put 37 in there, and we have 3, 10, 10, uh, why do we only have 3 in that one? Let's go around and see. Oh, is that powered? No. Why? I must have taken sticks out of that one. You gonna go again? We're out of sticks, I bet. And we're out. Okay, let's throw some more in. 
Let's grab some more. It's not like there's a ton over there. Or isn't a ton. Okay, take off. Now let's see, there should be, oh, we gotta go in. There should be four now, okay. I must have cleared that out for some reason. Not sure why. Huh. And it should pick up five here in a second. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay. But anyways, what I was saying is, um, if this one fills up before those ones do, then it will think that, you know, they're all full. Now, I won't, like I said, I wanted at least 32 items in these ones, half a stack, uh, before this one showed full. That's why I don't, I didn't put a full stack here. But that will basically just give me time. Um, eventually, these will fill up. These uh, ones will catch up. Reason being, say I only want to smelt 10 things, only these first 10 furnaces are going to use fuel. Um, so that one will burn fuel and so it'll think it'll need to add and these ones didn't burn fuel so these ones will gain two sticks without burning two while that one burned two so eventually everything else will fill up but that'll give me enough time to you know use the witch farm more and let the sticks build up over time so this is almost ready for in fact we can do its maiden voyage right now um, off camera I'll pro I will pull the uh, you know those chests I will pull over with hoppers um, yeah hoppers I'm not gonna use water trails uh, but anyways I'm gonna pull hoppers over to here build a silo right here for sticks you know sort out the sticks build a silo and send the extra stuff on but we could do that later. This is ready for its maiden voyage. And so let's test it out. Let's say, let's smelt a stack of. Oh, <laughs> you know what I haven't done? I have not um, connected those guys. Uh, the collection hoppers. I need to build the collection system too. But let's do the maiden voyage first. Go in here and add our items. Now when I send it off, it'll um, blast smelt all the items. And then 32 will end up here, and 32 will end up there. Uh, basically within seconds of each other. So let's send it off. And hopefully these are all clear. Yep, you can follow it all the way down. Okay. Those ones are all full. Those ones are all full and going. Okay. See, now these ones, they're already done. So, as you see, this is already getting its 32 items here. And those ones right there just shut off. So, this is already going to get its 32 items. 16. See, so that one's already done. And that one's done. So, let's uh, let's actually time that because I really want to know how fast that is. Timer. Um, I'm pulling out my cell phone here. Oh, that's not what I want. I don't want a timer. I want a stopwatch. Does this have a stopwatch? I don't think it does. Stopwatch. Okay. So let's go. This is going to be, once this gets 32 items, that one's already going to have them. So let's throw in another stack. And on your mark, get set, go. Okay. Come over here. Oh, that's cleared out from last time. We're at 12 seconds right now. Still haven't seen any. Looks like the right side just finished and we're at 18 seconds. 21 seconds and it's starting to fill up. And 28 seconds, 32 seconds, and stop. So we're at 35 seconds to smelt a full stack of items. Not bad if you ask me. So that is our blast smelter. Like I said, I'm going to wait to 
make it look good and uh, I'm gonna do the silo and stuff over here off camera but it's working so I hope you guys enjoyed the episode hopefully it helped you out uh, learn some redstone or something uh, if you guys did enjoy it please send me a like it helps a lot so as always guys happy building hope you have a great day